Hello my friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, it's Marta here and I'm back with another Mi Art Time video for you. It's pretty late to record to be honest, so I'm not too sure if I managed to record anything because uh, I should have done it an hour ago. But I've been busy 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 packing the orders and kind of being slow in the process, I'm not too sure why. <laughs> um, but I thought I'm gonna at least start, so maybe if I'll start then in the next day in the morning I can like finish it so the idea is about the hearts today Do you know I'm thinking butterflies are so good for our soul when we are and need some uplifting and hearts are good too since I'm trying to encourage you to use things around your house use what you have your stash and try to be more creative in like creating your own focal point so we've done people and now it's time to do hearts uh, I just I actually cut them last night to be honest and didn't start the page so I left it as you can see I've used my packaging so if you have and tons of you have packaging you may use the packaging of mine because I think it's so beautiful I always wanted to create something from it so that's what I have here I also have those oil pastels which are so beautiful I love this whole kind of color scheme here and these are from Senelier, I have been told that this is a very good brand. I don't know much about oil pastels, to be honest. I have some leftovers elements. We'll see what's gonna happen with that. I have some gorgeous element from magazine. And look at that. I received a gift some time ago of a stock of paper uh, for sign language. How absolutely sensational that is. So I have been... Uh, I have been using, uh, wanting to use it for ages and just didn't use it, I think, at all. So I think, and please don't worry, I have tons of it, so I think I'm allowed to rip this one and glue it down and just enjoy it. Although it's, it looks it's pretty uh, oldish, which is fantastic. I don't know the sign language, as you can imagine. Uh, but it's gorgeous texture so I may simply rip it out apart and just use that texture here and there I think it's just amazing I think it's just amazing so I'm gonna get my gel medium to begin with I think and this is soft gel recently someone have asked me what gel I'm using because uh, I moved to gel medium because I cannot find a proper print stick <laughs> that I love I just uh, I'm just running like a spring chicken recently uh, like a lot of us well maybe some of you don't but I find that uh, even though we are homebound I still have loads to be done somehow I'm catching up with things so I kind of still am in the mist um, mist and is am I in the mist how to say it I'm just busy still you see orders online are busy now piling as well because many people cannot shop physically uh, so many people jump into order online stuff and it's not only my shop obviously but all sorts of places so and I see lots of promotions like clothes H&M next those are having like sales happening clothing so I think everyone is trying to maybe get the business running it's a, such a difficult time is because uh, you know, business-wise, financial, economical-wise, things are changing so drastically, so dramatically, so fast that we don't know how things are gonna be, isn't it? Any, any, any time soon. So uh, I'm trying to get that down, and maybe this will help me a little bit. This roller, because oh, oh, now it's working. Because I don't know, it's just not. It's not listening to me. <laughs> okay, but I'm thinking that I would love to use some some of that. I have no clue how and where. And I was just watching for two seconds a friend of mine, Shona. She is a beautiful YouTuber, a beautiful soul. She's doing live videos. If you're a fan of live videos, and live videos, you may find her uh, very interesting for live videos because she's very regular in doing those. And she also is a, an, in love with collaging and art journaling as much as I do. She loves her rice papers. She's a fabulous friend. She's gorgeous soul. And I just love her contagious, contagious laugh. Is it contagious? 
she's just so awesome to listen to, chat to. She's very helpful, very kind soul. And yeah, she's my friend. I can say that. We do have online friends, guys. You see, you can make friends. She's my friend. Let's get, I'll get my <laughs> phone and let's see where she is in her because she's currently running the, 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 the video. So let's see where is she at this moment. Was, there you go. <laughs> there you go. So I'm gonna uh, slow it down and not slow it down. I'm gonna um, cl make it cl uh, quiet. So it's uh, Shona. I don't know how to spell her surname. Shona Meu. Shona Meuvzen. Can you see? Uh, if you wish to check her channel, please do. Shona Miufsen, she does a lot of, uh, she's using rice paper currently at this moment. She, oh, look at that gorgeous page. Let's see if I can, oh, look at that. Isn't it that just gorgeous? So beautiful page. You probably don't see that well. You see, I told you about her laugh. Yeah, that's Shona. Thank you, honey. I got her address, guys, so I will... Uh... <laughs> So here, here it is. If you wish to follow her, please do. And yeah, she does beautiful art journaling. She's testing products. She's a fun person to watch and be around. So, okay, so that's the plan now. Oh. So I'm not watching her video, sadly. I love watching her lives. Uh, oftentimes when I pack orders, she would be live and I would be packing orders, your orders guys, and I would be listening to her chats and uh, being a little active in the chat. Not always because, as I said, we are all busy, uh, but I love being around when she's doing her lives because she's so fun to watch. So, yeah, there we go. Let's add some of that. Although, no, I'm gonna half it, and you know what? Why? Because I think my 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 hearts are going probably somewhere here. So I I don't want this to be killed over the color, over the not the color. Oh, I don't want this to be killed over the. Hmm. I'm not too sure what's going on here, but. How about a little bit of text? Maybe text would be nice. Oh, there we go. Uh, what I was saying was I. Oh, yeah, I, the hearts are gonna go here, so I would like this to be, you know, pretty much nice. Oh, wow, I love it. Now I'm gonna get my transparent gesso, change my brush into a clean brush, so that way I can just run across the whole pagey page. Oh, sorry forgot to put the thing back so I'm gonna run with the whole transparent -ish gesso thing over everywhere so I can ah oh, this brush is awful I'm gonna get oh this is nice nice and fluffy there we go why do I add transparent gesso oh well guys that's because um, I am preparing my page for mediums and works and kind of future happenings on that page so that's really the reason behind it also I like to have my pieces properly glued down I like using transparent gesso you know that I always do so and if you use gel medium on top of that kind of collage uh, it's gonna be hard because mediums won't go on top of it too good on top of gel medium so if you're asking me can you substitute gel medium with transparent gesso the answer is not really as a glue yes as a primer no so there we go that looks so gorgeous so I think and let's see where I'm gonna put the hat if I can find oh there we go so the idea maybe is to use Oh wow, I like that. Or, or maybe like this and have some title here. How is that? That could be nice, isn't it? Or, if I go this way, I never work in 
this order but do you know what this could look this is looking actually not not too bad to me hmm but I think I somehow wish to stick with this journal book to be vertical so I may just do this that's gonna be easy easy or this or maybe like that yes heavier lighter title da 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 I think so I'm gonna get my gel medium now and get that heart colored with the gel oops okay so here it is and here it is I hand cut those hearts as you can see this roller is so awesome <laughs> I hand cut those so that they're not perfect they're pretty <laughs> funny shape but I like it you know I like it uh, okay I may need a little bit more glue there and maybe I'm gonna get <laughs> brush number four uh, exactly brush number four and get some gel medium and uh, not gel medium transparent just on top of here there we go look if something is even sticking out like a little that's okay look let's not worry about that too much okay so this needs to dry now I like that I don't know why I'm using the roller I just like it today <laughs> call me crazy but I like it today okay I love it let's wait for this to dry now and while this is drying I was just looking at and tidy up my my rubbish around me and I was just thinking hmm what if I just cut the the, the hearts again and make them brighter I don't know I just thought I'm gonna do it and if I won't like it I can always oh that's too big I can still keep it for the next project or something you know but I just thought oh I can try and see where this is gonna take me maybe nowhere you know maybe nowhere this is <laughs> by accident nice and fitting and this one is a little bit not fitting but I, may, I may make it fit mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a little bit even more I know you're gonna tell me all these beautiful scraps I know do you know what I think um, we have this problem of being attached to scraps too much I mean honestly I know it's beautiful and I know but you can't be attached to every scrap you make every kind of thing you know you just have to as well allow yourself to let go things and just say goodbye to things and just not um, collect everything on the planet because you're gonna be harder like me like plenty of us and you just it's just overwhelming then maybe too much so maybe it's worth not to oh perfect <laughs> all these beautiful scraps I know look if I'm gonna stick it I don't know because maybe I won't I don't know yet but for now I think it it's nice so I'm, I'm gonna just see what's going on I may keep that bigger pieces which are those and the other scraps no <laughs> so please forgive me that and I'm I need my dryer to dry uh, yeah to dry the page so let's dry the page the page the, the page I'm gonna add a little bit of white this is still kind of wettish uh, a little bit so I'm just gonna in places add a little bit of white especially kind of around my heart so that the hearts maybe stand out a bit more I don't know the, the gesso is very dry the one that I have now is very dry so I'm gonna be gentle with how much I apply anyway so I'm also kind of blending the, the, the lines in between the joints pages kind of thing you know and just kind of keep making it cohesive and happy the pages being happy together with each other you know that kind of way 
that kind of that's kind of the plan mm -hmm. I like that I like that it's like it's losing the full uh, look of it of it as the um, as the collage and and magazine thing it, it's kind of starting to be artish looking if I can say it like that if that makes any sense now I'm not too sure I was thinking I'm not too sure if I'll use them because then I'm killing the beauty of the those hearts as they are so I don't know yet I may actually not use it <laughs> after all uh, we will see let's let's dry this because then we'll be adding a bit of color I think okay so what's next I'm thinking to start a little bit of outlining here but I don't know oh yes I wanted to say I don't know if it's gonna be moving nicely the pigment here around my heart but it is and the color is nice it's like this kind of caramelish color isn't it it's lovely now afterwards when using the oil pastels afterwards working with any sort of pens it's just difficult so no matter what brand I get I find it is just not easy to work on top of the oil pastels or gelatos it is just difficult I'll try it afterwards if I have to up, out, outline even more um, but it may be difficult with pen, pens you know so I thought that Lucas will be coming downstairs now so I won't be able to finish this page but I think he fell asleep <laughs> with Hannah so so that's why we may be able to do it. I like that. A little bit different. You know, oh, I like the grey around it because it's kind of ish, nearly too rusty, too too much for me. Sometimes I just feel it's too much. It's good, but it's too much. I can add something else and change it. And that's okay, you know. It's not after first try you will have it like you may, but not always. And it's okay. It's fine to repeat, it's fine to change, it's fine to rip it apart, it's fine to just start over. It's all fine. Allow yourself to be in the wrong, allow yourself to mis you know, have a mis make a mistake. It's all okay. It's all okay. Now, I don't know if I should have add a little bit of that color on my heart since they are already so pretty <laughs> from packaging hmm Marta <laughs> yeah well I think they're pretty so that's why that's why I say what I say but sometimes you may think that I'm over exaggerating I like the packaging I have to say I'm very proud of the coloring and the composition and everything how it worked out so and since I have done it completely myself. I'm I am pretty proud, I have to say. So <laughs> you would be proud too. Um maybe the darker one? What's the story here? The darker darker one. That's really interesting, isn't it? Not a typical page, but again, I'm trying to give you an idea for focal points and things that can be um, made by yourself without spending a whole of the budget. So it's a budget project, I would say, more than anything. I think, you know? And I love it. I think it's gorgeous, so already, although we're not done yet. Not even close. <laughs> now I'm thinking that this is such a cool tool as well. Uh, so I'm gonna get that. Um, how I can get that happening here? Mm -hmm. Maybe somebody there. Oh, there we go. So let's see. Yeah, it's not gonna probably hold, isn't it? Well, do you know what? We will see what's going to happen. It looks not too bad, actually. So, I think it's interesting. Let me get some clean 
water, which is two seconds, two seconds, two seconds. I just checked if we're recording, but we are. So that's good. <laughs> as I said to you, on a waxy oil surface, things are not as smooth maybe as we wish, but that's okay too, maybe. Maybe we can just experiment a little bit. I know it's gonna be tough, but let's see what else we can actually do with it. Now, the question is the white color, which is here, the white gesso, for example, if I'm gonna get it here more. Uh, oops, a little bit more there. I love it. Hello, heart. So get your scissors guys and start cutting out your hearts. Any color you have, a packaging, use the packaging like I did. Any packaging you have, I'm sure you have tons of packaging hoarded. Hoarded? Is that even the word? Hoard. Hoarded. <laughs> um, let's try this. Let's see if the food ball will do the magic, which is very possible because it is a magical pen. But did I do anything to you recently? Tell me. Anyway, let's see. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's gonna be like taking away the. No, it's not happening. Two seconds. I have one more which is the little one or yeah um I know that it works great on the acrylics that full ball watercolors but oil pastels nothing seems to be good what about this one One is Ecoline, which I just wanted some kind of doodled view, doodled feel. Which this is not a doodle, but oh well, it does do the magic though. The trick it does, it is black around it, it is happening strangely, surprisingly. It is managing, so, okay, let's see, I like that. Now, what about the title? Mm, once again, this would be perfect, love you. And even here, like, really, really perfect. So I will actually add it. I know that I've used it in the previous videos, but... <laughs> I try to actually buy these stickers. I can't find them anymore. They're not being sold, sadly. Oh. Go back a little bit. How cute. I love you. Love you. But I was thinking that still this is pretty empty. What about the idea number one that we had? This here being added. Mm, no, this is really nice, but we could do one more thing. I could get some stamping. Where are the stamps? Here they are. The text stamp. And I could make this helping me to um, kind of do the stamping outside without stamping on my actual heart. Yes! 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 <laughs> I just never thought about stamping in the first place, which I could have done, but I didn't. That's okay too. Now, the bigger one. Oh, Marta, Marta, I think. <laughs> this one here, that could be nice. Both to be tackled. Ha! <gasps> I love it! Wow! See? Oh, no. Now we know that we needed it for mask. And that's awesome. Totally. 
awesome. Wow, you are so beautiful heart now. <gasps> I just love it. Oh wow, this is sensational actually and it's finishing the page so beautifully. Wow, wow, I really love it. Okay, wow. No, that's it. I'm gonna leave that actual top empty, which is nice. The text stamp is from the shop, from my stamps, if you wish to have a look. Yeah, I'll actually show you how it's coming. It's coming with text that I cut it in half and this beautiful kind of Moroccan something something style <laughs> stamp for the background, which is nice. Hmm, and the shop it's not Etsy, please do remember it's marimismolart.com a new shop since a year at least but some of you are still uh, coming back to the old one so uh, just a small reminder um, oh okay now I'm thinking that it could be nice um, I'm thinking about little butterflies but then I don't want to be butterfly again but maybe okay look at that I have those black and white kind of transparent stickers and I think they just look so perfect here. I had those stickers in my sets months ago in the shop. I kind of actually I think I used them once on my on some video. The set is sold out ages ago. Oh no way is it that difficult? <laughs> it looks like it's very difficult. Oh no 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 one more last one more last time chance I, oh wait, there we go <laughs> I did it Hannah saying I did it I like it I like it um I just felt that those hearts are so big and empty but then um, just a tip as well for you many times we have page a4 page and it's not easy to fill it in with anything it's not easy to find some focal points that are big enough for the page we sometimes use few focal points or things like that so I think the idea with heart is heart is just fantastic nothing new of course <laughs> It's, I'm more like coming back to things that I've done years back as well, you know, <clears throat> on some uh, how to break a blank page years ago I've done hearts as well, so um, it's good to be back to kind of things from a few years back and revi revise them, but heart was my focal point years back as well, I, as if you remember that. So I think it's nice because you have the chance to have a big focal point. And look at that gorgeous heart with flowers in it. I think it's just lovely. And the, and the title as well, Love You, just matches nicely. <clears throat> I really think it's cute. I really, really think it's nice and cute. We could have done a little bit of a darker even on the side. I'm thinking... Mm, but do we really have to need to hmm. then let's get the white of course white gouache for our splashes my favorite selection of um, my favorite selection of colors from gouaches so I'm gonna get some here and I'm gonna splash and see where we at because I think it's sometimes it's good it helps to kind of revise things and see maybe we need something else maybe we don't who knows? <laughs> so I I just love white splashes on my projects. No matter maybe not here. <laughs> maybe not too much here. No matter what I do, I just find the white splashes such a lovely complement to my project. So I encourage you to use that too and feel have the feeling of mm, I wonder if it's too much here have the feeling of accomplished and that, you know it works for you and you like it so I love it 
Oh, the battery is dying just on time. <laughs> do you know what? I love how different this project uh, as in different to what I do or what I use and I am glad that I yet again came to you with a project that it's different and bringing you some fresh inspiration. I like that idea. Uh, obviously splashes and my stamping it's nothing new. <laughs> Something that I always do and use and love and enjoy it and keep on doing over and over which is fine. If you love something, why do you run away from it? Just stick with those things, add different things to it maybe. But if you love something, just go for it. Just don't limit yourself. There is no need for limiting yourself. And um, you know what? I was thinking that maybe as well I could get a little bit of darker there. What do you think? Or is it good? Like that. Anything else? I think we can call this one finished I believe yes I think I'm gonna call this one finished honestly it's beautiful as it is now 25th is today can you imagine 25th when is it 25th yes <laughs> of March so our number six of our me art time no number seven actually the number seven in creativity for our me art time I am jumping in from time to time to check on your project so thank you so much for sharing them for using hashtag me art time it's great that we can do it together and we can see each other's projects so if you click on the hashtag me art time uh, it, it will take you uh, to other projects let, let me just write it down one thing because some of you uh, are a little bit mistaken so I'm gonna show you the trick the hashtag is me art and we're not making another T we're making I time so we really I've deleted the T you can also say me art time in a small it doesn't matter it will both work but remember that we have time and we have art using the same letter I hope that helps because I saw that some of you have used it me art time with T twice and then we cannot find you so it's better not to do it but just that just a little tip for you and um, is there anything Marta you wanted to say have a little thing have a little thing but I think I'm done here I think I can call this one finished and um, let me show you the previous projects if you didn't see our me and Emily's we've done focal point with the people and then we've the, we have this one which is gorgeous as well was it the first one no there was one more so we have one two two three and four is it my favorite I think so far it would be my favorite usually it happens that the new page become your new favorite isn't it and if you're wondering I'm using Arteza 60 sheets mixed media, mixed media pad premium these are coming in sets of two I think in the shop uh, you can use my links under the video please feel free to do so I could choose it and if I could decide I would prefer a bit thicker one but then when I add all these layers of um, magazines and things it's perfect for only media work mm, I think it's a little too thin but again it's up to however you like I love how the the, the for sign language the little dots are there I don't think I took out too much of the um, I think it had a bigger potential that I've done that's what I'm trying to say maybe in the next project I will try to accommodate it a little bit more because you really cannot see from far well no you can but I'm not too sure if on the camera you can see that um, okay that's it for today please uh, try to stay positive we all in houses stuck together and there's so many beautiful positivity out there online look for it don't be afraid to look for help for things that could make your day better and make you smile uh, including my videos that I will try my best to upload every day something new and fresh for you I'm recording in the meantime as well the vlog because it's gonna be probably like a weekly vlog because I'm not consistent enough for a day so you're gonna have 
a, like a connection of few days in, in a row <laughs> of mix and match of everything so uh, so yeah it's something to look forward to it and I have to start cleaning my studio and start to cleaning my drawers five six crazy dirty messy um, drawers yes so time to do that okay thank you so much for watching for being here for for all your beautiful comments under every video I I have less time now to read them as you can imagine on time because of daily videos and your comments and um, but I am coming back to the comments I do read them and I try to reply to as many as I can so thank you so much in advance for being part of this journey with me art time thank you guys it means so much to me so I hope you liked it and enjoyed it and that you will try it for yourself looking forward to seeing your pages with hearts with hearts because that's the idea for this day thank you so much I love you lots but I have to go till the next time happy crafting and I'll talk to you tomorrow <laughs> bye bye bye